Welcome to Nursat Saralai channel in Tel Elimir TV. We begin with the following headlines. Pope Francis, he emphasized the importance of always striving as brothers and sisters to make our life a gift to others. Jordan condemns the entry of Israeli occupational forces into the Church of the Holy Sepulcher in occupied Jerusalem. From Poland, Cardinal Pizzabella emphasizes the necessity for the city of Jerusalem to be a reflection of God's presence. Upon his return to Jordan, he will head to the town of Smekia. A global summit for leaders and figures from various religions for the sake of the climate and for the Church of Jordan will be present there. From the headlines to the details. His Holiness Pope Francis welcomed a group of volunteers and homeless individuals at the Apostolic Palace in the Vatican. On this occasion, the Pope delivered a message of thanks, expressing his joy at meeting them, and pointed out that they typically gather at the headquarters of the Archdiocese of Vienna. In his speech, the Holy Father emphasized the need for mutual support, stating that we are called to enrich one another. He also reminded them that this enrichment is not only through material gifts, but also through a smile, a sign of friendship, a brotherly gaze, active listening, and free service. The Pope also referred to the message in the apostolic letter related to the 25th Jubilee and highlighted the importance of following the teachings of our Lord, which is to love one another as He loved us. He continued by saying that we should thank God for the gift of His love and pointed out that each of us is unique in the eyes of God, who will never forget us. In conclusion, His Holiness Pope Francis stressed the importance of always striving as brothers and sisters to make our lives a gift to others. Regarding the security situation in Jerusalem, the Israeli occupation army continues to interfere with numerous church properties in Jerusalem. Jordan has condemned the entry of Israeli occupational forces into a church at the site of the Holy Sepulchre in occupied Jerusalem, as well as the arrest of two employees of the French consulate who were tasked with securing a visit that was scheduled to be made by French Foreign Minister Jean-Noël Barrault. The official spokesperson for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Expatriates, Ambassador Sufyan al qada stated that the actions of the Israeli occupational forces reflect Israel's persistent efforts to violate the historical and legal status of Jerusalem. He emphasized that Israel has no sovereignty over the city. Jordan also reaffirmed its absolute rejection of all Israeli measures aimed at altering the identity and character of East Jerusalem, including the Old City, as well as changing the historical and legal status of the city and its Islamic and Christian holy sites. Furthermore, Jordan reiterated its strong support for France in opposing Israeli occupational forces' aggressions. To the city of Lublin, the Patriarch of Jerusalem for the Latins Cardinal Pierre Battista Pizzabella arrived in the city of Lublin, where he delivered a speech to the participants of an international conference held at John Paul II Catholic University of Lublin in Poland. The conference was titled Prayer for the Peace of Jerusalem. In his address, Cardinal Pizzabella emphasized the importance of having a relationship between the people of the Holy Land that reflects God's presence and fosters a connection with Him. The conference, which took place from November 5th to the 7th, was attended by theologians and biblical scholars from around the world. It was organized by the Abraham Heschel Center in cooperation with the Biblical Studies Institute. Among the prominent figures invited to the conference was the Argentine rabbi Abraham Skorka, along with Cardinal Pizzabella, who was awarded an honorary doctorate by the Polish University. In closing his speech, Cardinal Pizzabella urged all the participants to pray, stressing the importance of each one of us being a small example of goodness. He acknowledged the limitations of human beings, but emphasized that, despite these limitations, we must always remember what our testimony is as residents of the city of Jerusalem. Cardinal Pierre Battista Pizzabella, Patriarch of Jerusalem for the Latins, visits the parish of St. Michael in Smekie. On Thursday evening, the parish of St. Michael for the Latins in the town of Smekie, located in the northern part of al Qarak Governorate in southern Jordan, warmly welcomed Cardinal Pizzabella, Patriarch of Jerusalem for the Latins, as he began his pastoral visit to the area. The visit was filled with a rich program of pastoral and official meetings over four days. In welcoming his beatitude, the parish priest Father Khaled Gammo, along with priests, monks, and nuns from the Latin Patriarchate and other apostolic churches in the Qara Governorate were present. The reception also included Sheikh Munir al-Majali, head of the Hjazin tribe and president of Shaheen municipality, along with local security officials and a large number of citizens from Smekiya, including members of the Hjazin and Akasha tribes. During his visit, Cardinal Pizzabella met with the parish leaders, directors of the Latin Patriarchate schools and kindergartens, as well as directors of the local public schools in Smekia. 
He also met with teachers, medical staff, and visited several sick parishioners in their homes. Accompanied by priests and tribal representatives from Smekia, his beatitude visited several governmental offices and Majali tribes Diwan, where they reaffirmed the historical and affectionate ties between the two tribes. He also met with a number of directors of the officials of Al Qasr district. Additionally, Cardinal Pizzabella visited the neighboring town of Hamoud, where he met with priests from the Greek Orthodox and Melkat Catholic communities and visited their churches. He presided over several masses, including those for the First Holy Communion and Confirmation. On the final days of his visit, the Saint Michael Parish hosted a luncheon in honor of his beatitude, attended by former Minister of Interior Mr. Qaftan Majali. Parliamentarian Haytham Zayadeen and local governmental of security officials. During the event, Mr. Qaftan al Majali presented Cardinal Pizzabella with a traditional Karak cloak. Cardinal Pizzabella concluded his visit with a prayer, asking the Lord of Glory, Jesus Christ, to bring peace to the Holy Land and assuring the faithful in Smekia that he would carry them in his prayer. The Global Summit of Religious Leaders launched in Azerbaijan under the theme for a green planet. The summit brought together religious leaders and prominent figures from around the world, united in their efforts to address climate change. This event is part of the 29th Conference of Parties under the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, focusing on the critical issue of global climate change. The summit was organized by the Muslim Board of the Caucasus in cooperation with the Council of Muslim Elders, the Azerbaijani government's Department of Religious Institutions, and the United Nations Environmental Programme. More than 300 governmental representatives from around the world participated along with high-ranking officials from the United Nations, leaders of international organizations, and prominent religious figures, Father Nabil Haddad, director of the Center for Religious Coexistence in Amman, represented Jordan at the summit. The main goal of this summit is to highlight the pivotal role of religions in addressing the global challenge of climate change as religious leaders unite to advocate for environmental protection and to take collective action on behalf of a better, more sustainable future. The summit emphasized the shared rejection of wars, environmental destruction and ecological damage, calling for peaceful solutions to conflicts and fostering a platform for dialogue among experts, academics, political and religious leaders, and representatives of both governmental and non-governmental organizations. The discussions focus on the urgent challenges facing the modern world, especially environmental crisis and wars that exacerbate climate change. The summit aimed to strengthen international cooperation to confront climate change, issuing a global call for urgent action to mitigate environmental disaster and safeguard global peace. The summit concluded with a shared vision calling for the cessation of violence, the reduction of arms, and the protection of the Earth from environmental threats, stressing the importance of united efforts in preserving our planet for future generations. Following the tradition of the Church in preserving its faithful and faith, the Evangelical Episcopal Arabic Church celebrated the service of confirmation at the Redeemer Christian Church in Jabal Amman. The service was presided over by His Excellency Bishop Hussam Naoum, the Archbishop of the Episcopal Church, with the assistance of Archdeacon Father Fayyak Haddad. The service was attended by active church servants and a gathering of believers from the parish in Jordan. It is noteworthy that the confirmation service signifies the formal joining of an individual into the membership of the Episcopal Church. During the service, the new member pledges in front of the bishop, the pastor, and the congregation to deepen their studies in God's Word and to live a life of regular prayer. In a spirit of reverence, and in a grand celebration of the Divine Liturgy, Father Dr. Jihad Shwehat, the acting patriarchal vicar for the Latin Church in Jordan, presided over the Divine Liturgy for the Sacrament of Confirmation and First Communion for the students of the Franciscan Sister Schools. This service took place at the Nazareth Church in Swafiyya. The liturgy was celebrated in the presence of Father Dr. Hanna Kildani, Father Dr. Firas Nasrawin, Father Bashir Badr, Father Paolo Sibish, and Father Hikmat Haddad, along with the sisters of the congregation and a large gathering of parents of the students and members of the administrative and teaching staff of the schools. This service marked an important spiritual milestone for the students as they received the sacrament of confirmation and first communion and pledged to continue their journey of faith and devotion. Dear, dear viewers, we have reached the end of our broadcast. Before we conclude, here's a recap of the highlights covered herein. Pope Francis, he emphasized the importance of always striving as brothers and sisters to make our life a gift to others. Jordan condemns the entry of Israeli occupational forces into the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in occupied Jerusalem. 
From Poland, Cardinal Pizzabella emphasizes the necessity for the city of Jerusalem to be a reflection of God's presence. Upon his return to Jordan, he will head to the town of Smikir. A global summit for leaders and figures from various religions for the sake of the climate and for the Church of Jordan will be present there. For more details, please visit our website, nursajo.org. May your time be pleasant. Hope to see you again. Thank you for watching.